In this video, we're going to discuss the control and sensing sections of the blocks of code. Now, the control and sensing blocks really allow you to add some uh, crucial features and complications to your program. So, for example, if we look at the control blocks, they are a lot of things that I'm going to call statements, like if statements or if else statements, repeat statements. So, if I wanted to say, flip back and forth between my costumes. So, I have Iron Man Jump, which looks like this, and I have Let's say, me as Iron Man, which looks like this. If I wanted to go back and forth between them, I could do something like control, so put a little wait in here, wait one second, let's make it 0.5 seconds, and 0.5 seconds, and I can put this in a repeat block, so repeat 10 times. So I press the green flag, it's gonna go back and forth between these two costumes 10 times with a delay. Now you may be wondering, why did I put a delay? Well, if I stop this and if I rewrite this program without the delay and put this in the repeat block, what happened was it did that, but you never told it how long. So the computer made that happen as quick as it could process it, and we can't see that. It happened way too quickly. So you always need, whenever you're doing some type of visual appearance, for you to notice the change, you should have some type of delay. So however quick or slow you'd like this to go. Now, you can also use the control blocks to do if statements here. So I'm just going to keep my costumes, but I'm gonna throw everything else out for now. So I could say something like, if something's happening, switch costume. So I could say, every time I press the green flag, I want it to be me as Iron Man. And then if something happens, switch to Iron Man jump. So if we go to our sensing block, this is when you can tell if something's happening. So you'll notice that there's touching the mouse pointer, touching colors, um, touching other characters if there are other characters, if keys are pressed, things like that. So let's use the touching color. So I can say if touching color, and on my backdrop here, there aren't really any really defined colors. So let me just paint like a bright green box on my backdrop. So I can say something like if Iron Man is touching this green, switch to Jumping Iron Man. Now to set the color, you'll notice that by default it's probably a blue or pink or something like that. I can click on the color and my mouse pointer actually changed to a hand. And now every time I hover over something, it tries to lock in that color. So if I go click on my green box, it now says if touching color green, this specific green, it will switch to Iron Man Jump. Now if I press the green flag, that's not happening, so nothing happens. If I would actually move my Iron Man on the top of the green box and now press the green flag, it went ahead and switched costumes. 